Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through the example of a full adder, how to write the coverage model for full adder. Now this time we are considering a linear test bench. And in the next video, we will try to look at the test bench architecture by considering a system very law as well as the UVM, universal verification methodology. And we'll try to develop a complete test bench architecture over there and for this full adder as well as for any sequential logic. Now let me explain you the RTL code for this full adder. So I hope you are aware about the full adder functionality, the truth table and all. Now I'm defining a module full adder in module. Inside that I'm defining inputs and outputs as a logic type. So inputs logic A, B, C, these are the inputs for us. And the output logic sum and C out, carry out. Okay. Now I'm using the data flow modeling style for defining this full adder logic. Assign sum is equal to AX or BX or C and C out, which is a carry out is equal to A and B or with A, X or B and C. So if you just solve that, uh, uh, you know, expression A and B or with A and C or with B and C, you will find this expression. Okay, so I hope you are aware about this. Now let me show you the simple linear test bench for this full adder. So module test bench full adder. Here I'm defining all the signals as logic type for inputs and outputs. And here I'm defining the, ins doing the instantiation of design. Full adder, name of the RTL. DUT is the instance for us. And within parenthesis dot star. So this construct will help us to do the order based instantiation of our design using system. Within initial begin block, I'm using a for loop to generate this stimulus. Okay. So for i is equal to zero, i less than eight, i plus plus. I am allowing the value of this i to this inputs a, b, and c using curly braces concatenation. Concatenation. Now in the next block, I'm defining the cover group CG, N group CG. Here I'm defining option dot per instance is equal to one. In order to get the you know detailed analysis of our pins and the coverage report. Now here I'm defining the cover points for all the you know variables, all the ports of our design, inputs as well as for outputs. So <clears throat> cover point for A, cover point for B, C, sum and C out. And here we are not defining explicit bins, just we are depending upon the auto bins or implicit bins. Okay. Now, as all the variables are of single bit, so 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2, right? So each variable, like or each ports, you can consider A, B, C, sum and so out, will have the two auto bins in the coverage report. Now, after that, I'm just given the instance for this cover group CG within initial begin block, I'm just using dollar monitor in order to print the values of inputs and outputs with the time. Here I am allocating a memory for this cover group using new construct and using a repeat block 20 times to do the sample of the coverage group inbuilt sample method we are using. So the object for the cover group dot sample inbuilt sample method we are calling to get the to get a sampling of the coverage. Okay, very simple. An A in module test bench of a full. Now, if you run this code, what we are expecting, we are expecting that uh, it should create the uh, bins for the inputs and outputs of this full ad. Okay, so let me run this code. So if you run this code, you will able to see the report. We'll analyze that report. Okay. So let me show you first the inputs and outputs as we are using dollar monitor over there. So if you see the inputs 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 0 to 7, right? We are applying the values. And you can observe the value of sum and see how. The sum is, as you remember, 1, 2, 4, 7. Okay. And the carry is... Uh, four, five, six, seven. So you can analyze this later. Now let me show you the coverage report. So if you just analyze the coverage report for, let's say we are creating a bins for this A variable, it is creating two auto bins, right? 
0 and 1 and all are hitting multiple times hence we are getting 100% coverage. For B also 0 and 1 pins so all are hitting multiple times we are getting 100% coverage. For C also you can analyze for sum and for carry. So this is what we can define a simple cover group for all the inputs and outputs of the full adder using linear test image. Now in the next video we will try to see how to define them using system Verilog test bench architecture as well as UVM test bench architecture. And in UVM remember there is one interesting class called UVM subscribe. How to define that coverage model in, this, in that UVM subscriber? We'll see that in later. So with this I hope you have understood the simple linear test bench for full adder and how to define a coverage model for them. And also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.